Loss of biodiversity or biodiversity loss is the extinction of species plant or animal worldwide, and also the local reduction or loss of species in a certain habitat. The latter phenomenon can be temporary or permanent, depending on whether the environmental degradation that leads to the loss is reversible through ecological restoration, ecological resilience or effectively permanent e through land loss. Global extinction has so far been proven to be irreversible. Even though permanent global species loss is a more dramatic phenomenon than regional changes in species composition, even minor changes from a healthy stable state can have dramatic influence on the food web and the food chain insofar as reductions in only one species can adversely affect the entire chain coextinction, leading to an overall reduction in biodiversity, possible alternative stable states of an ecosystem notwithstanding. Ecological effects of biodiversity are usually counteracted by its loss. Reduced biodiversity in particular leads to reduced ecosystem services and eventually poses an immediate danger for food security, also for humankind. <laughs> <laughs> Loss rate The current rate of global diversity loss is estimated to be 100 to 1,000 times higher than that naturally occurring background extinction rate and expected to still grow in the upcoming years. Locally bounded loss rates can be measured using species richness and its variation over time. Raw counts may not be as ecologically relevant as relative or absolute abundances. Taking into account the relative frequencies, a considerable number of biodiversity indexes has been developed. Besides richness, evenness and heterogeneity are considered to be the main dimensions along which diversity can be measured. As with all diversity measures, it is essential to accurately classify the spatial and temporal scope of the observation. Definitions tend to become less precise as the complexity of the subject increases and the associated spatial and temporal scales widen. Biodiversity itself is not a single concept but can be split up into various scales e.g. ecosystem diversity versus habitat diversity or even biodiversity versus habitat diversity or different subcategories e.g. phylogenetic diversity, species diversity, genetic diversity, nucleotide diversity. The question of net loss in confined regions is often a matter of debate but longer observation times are generally thought to be beneficial to loss estimates. To compare rates between different geographic regions latitudinal gradients in species diversity should also be considered. <laughs> Factors Major factors for biotic stress and the ensuing accelerating loss rate are, amongst other threats Habitat loss and degradation Land use intensification and ensuing land loss, habitat loss has been identified to be a significant factor in loss of ecological services due to direct effects as well as biodiversity loss. Climate change through heat stress and drought stress Excessive nutrient load and other forms of pollution over-exploitation and unsustainable use e.g. unsustainable fishing methods we are currently using 25% more natural resources than the planet armed conflict, which disrupts human livelihoods and institutions, contributes to habitat loss, and intensifies over-exploitation of economically valuable species, leading to population declines and local extinctions. Invasive alien species that effectively compete for a niche, replacing indigenous species. Insect loss In 2017, various publications described the dramatic reduction in absolute insect biomass and number of species in Germany and North America over a period of 27 years. As possible reasons for the decline, the authors highlight neonicotinoids and other agrochemicals. Writing in the journal PLOS One, authors Hallman, Sorg, et al. conclude that the widespread insect biomass decline is alarming. <laughs> See also